Well, hi. Uh, good morning. At least if you're in the States like me. Uh, if you are elsewhere, happy time zone. Uh, so today's a little different. Um, I'm still going to do my regular stream later tonight. I have the last stream of the Wind Waker HD to play. Um, but I decided that I wanted to cover the Microsoft stuff today. Um, so there's a special Microsoft event today that's going to be surface focused, device focused. Uh, so I'm really excited to look at a lot of that stuff going on. Um, and then later today, um, the uh, Microsoft Ignite keynote happens. So it should be not too long after the uh, Surface event is over. So i um, very, very excited. Miro! Miro, happy time zone, buddy. How are you? Good to see you. Um, so yeah, I'm very looking forward to, uh, to seeing what Microsoft has to unveil today with devices and then what they've got to talk about today at MS Ignite. Uh, I have a feeling that they're going to talk a lot about the metaverse and a lot of the virtual reality stuff coming. So I'm not quite as interested in that kind of stuff, but I do want to see what all there is to talk about. Um, for those of you unaware, Microsoft Ignite is their sort of IT infrastructure focused, uh, tooling focused uh, conference that starts today. Um, they also have MS Build, which happens sort of on the other side of the year um, in like the spring, uh, like mid to late springtime, uh, which is developer focused. So, um, Vegeta, no. Vegeta, yes. you know what? Fine, fine, fine. I will, I will take it and I will buy, I will buy two, one for inside the house and one for the garage. Done. Uh, works over a little chores left, but then some quality R&R. &R, nice. Nice. Very well deserved, I'm sure. Take it and run with it. Hell, I took a day off and then decided I'm just going to stream this, so why the hell not? Why the hell not? Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and swap over to the feed. And then we'll go ahead and... Let's see... We got the feed rolling. All right, so this should be uh, this should be starting here in just a few minutes. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about. Let's bring this down just a skosh. There we go. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see what kind of devices come out today. Um, I'm certain that we're going to get another Surface Pro. Probably a new iteration of the Surface Pro X, which is their ARM-based device, um, their uh, uh, their mobile processor-based devices. Um, we might see some information about the uh, Surface Duo, the two-screen phone. So that's that's my Duo, um, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff they they unveil. The Surface events are always like big productions. Uh, the guy that's in charge of basically this entire division of Microsoft, Panos Panay, he's he has a flair for the dramatic in just like the best ways possible. Um, so I'm very excited to see what they're going to unveil. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, Miro. Uh, I'm I'm full of breakfast. Uh, I got I got Taco Bell breakfast today. And I am full of eggs and potatoes and meat, so and tortilla. So I'm very, uh, I'm very ready for this. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, I'm, uh, I can't wait. I'm. If they unveil a, what do they call it now? The Surface, the Surface Laptop Studio. Uh, which is like their high-end graphics workstation laptop. Uh, I'm, yeah, I might buy one. Uh, I might buy one. I don't know, man. Yeah, Surface Laptop Studio Two. I'm probably gonna get it if it's a thing. It's gonna be ridiculously expensive, but the screen flips out. Here, let me see. Where, where would I put it? No, this is... Buddy, I, I would put it everywhere. It would just go everywhere. 
Like, yes, I would put it in my butt. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, this is... That's the Surface Laptop Studio. I'll refresh this just so you can see what it looks like. Like, I love the way that just flips out like that. That's so cool. It flips out, but, like, the trackpad is still accessible. Oh, it's so neat. It's so neat, but... Boy, are they, uh... Slide to rotate. Look at it. Look at it. It's like they build a surface, and then it slides down, so you can use it as a drawing... Oh. Yep. Yep. They took the Surface Book, and they made it better. It's fantastic. I want another one of these. Uh, but yeah. So, probably new Surface Pro and Surface Pro X. Might see a new Surface Go. Might see a new Surface Laptop. Doubt it. But we'll see what happens. But we should be getting started here in just a minute, so... Let's, uh... Let me catch this back up. There we go. So very, very looking forward to this. Oh. How are y'all doing today? Because I am... Boy, howdy, am I here. I am here, and that's about it. I am here for this, that's for goddamn sure. Come on! It's 10 o'clock! Do the thing! Do it! Do the thing! Here we go. Ten years ago, we created Surface to inspire creativity, connection, and human potential. To reimagine how we work, how we play, how we connect, and how we create. Yeah, see, there it to is. To empower more. We had high hopes for everything it would do. But you took it even further. You stood on top of the world and inspired others to join. Hey, that's my phone. You shared your story, elevated your craft, and unleashed your creativity. You stepped into the future and showed everyone what was possible. You made the game your own, passed your success on to the next, and created a legacy beyond words. You stood your ground, bridged the gap, and found ways to connect when connection felt impossible. You chased your dreams and pushed your potential to change a life and build a better world. Oh, Ten the years dial, ago, man. We wanted to inspire God, I want that like dial. Yours. I don't know what the fuck I'd use it for, Thank but I want it. For taking us along for the ride. We can't wait to see what you do next. Good God, it's, it has been 10 years. Holy shit. What in the hell is this? Wait, is this on campus? The team and I this is on campus. truly honored to kick things off. This is Panos. By talking about a See? device that's been at the center of all our lives for nearly 40 years. The Windows PC. And uh, I have to say, it's a long time. I can't believe it's been a decade since Surface began. Ten years. And our journey's been amazing. God, I miss this fucking campus. I'm actually standing so in the weird. place where hardware at Microsoft was born. Right here. These buildings. And it's actually where I started my career journey, working on interaction technologies for the Windows PC. See, when the PC first started, the interaction model was quite limited 
Think about it as text-based, keyboard input. Uh, and it was really only understood by a select few. I remember back then writing programs in BASIC. It was quite simple. But with the introduction of Windows, a graphical and more intuitive interface designed around the mouse, so many more people were able to express their ideas and connect, connect through not technology me wearing a Windows 95 to each looking other shirt. in more natural ways. Actually, I vividly remember one of my first meetings here at Microsoft in these buildings. I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sitting just over there outside the cafeteria with the team, and we're here trying to figure out what is it that was ultimately going to replace the mouse, asking ourselves, how can we build the next great input device? Keep in mind, I came to the company to ship mice, so I'm in this meeting and we're trying to figure out how do we replace it, just like that. Uh, there were some wild ideas, for sure. But the memory that sticks, the one that sticks most with me, was when we realized we were focusing on the wrong thing, specifically right at that time. It was so much bigger than just replacing the mouse. That wasn't it. The need we were really trying to address, it didn't start with a device, it started with the person, the human. It started with you, with us, and what you needed to connect through technology across all interaction models, interaction models that didn't exist yet, including the mouse and keyboard, but also through touch, through oh voice, boy, where through, is pen, this going? through gesture. All of it seamlessly working together, coming together. And from that very conversation, from that very conversation, that's when Surface was born. We challenged conventional form factors to remove barriers for you. And together with Windows, over the past 10 years, we transformed the industry. Right. And I got journey, you, babe. Connected with people <laughs> like you. Now we're babe. at another inflection point right now, right now, like the mouse all those years ago. This is this is We're where I just okay. Bean, this again, is where I wander around. Like when I go meetings, on my Seattle trips, by my, what's the next <laughs> babe. Way of when I wander around the Microsoft campus, this is no. It's fine. It's fine. I I would have turned it off if I didn't want it. Because it's not about how we replace it. It's this is this is where I would wander around. This is where I like I would I would take the bus over to Redmond and spend an entire day just walking All around that here. All technology that's available to make it even better. And once again, once again, it all starts with you. All right, come with me. Today, we take the next step with Windows 11 and new innovative devices from Surface, extending them with new cloud and AI capabilities to empower you to connect through the magic of the Windows PC in the ways we all need most. So we can all participate. I love the fucking build up so that this guy always has. Jesus Christ. And maybe most importantly, so we can all express ourselves and our creativity. I can't wait for the team to show you this. Now today, watch closely. Are you pumped? And even if you don't see That's his thing. Every He's detail, always pumped. You'll surely feel it. Let's start by taking a look at the next generation Surface Laptop. Okay, Surface Laptop. Here we go. All right. Surface Laptop 5. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, that's still there. Yep. All right. Ooh. 12th Gen Core. God, the keyboards on Surface devices are just like <laughs> Ubuntu. Yeah. I mean, why not? Even if you're not using Windows, Surface devices are just phenomenal pieces of hardware. The mic array on it, nice. Adi, hi, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. 
the green looks good. I like that sage green. It looks really good. Seven years ago, we set out to perfect the form factor most people turn to when they want to get things done. The laptop. As a designer on the Surface uh, team, I'm Matt, super honestly, proud of I hear the created. Dells are not as good as it's they used to be. Um, surface device. And that's why the Surface devices, surface I'm, I've five, we had continue to push for well, like a dozen of them, and I love them. Every love them. Like the Focusing only one I really have a gripe with is my phone, and that's the software thing. It's not the hardware. The hardware like is you solid. Get right into your creative flow. Mm. It's effortless to open. And Windows Hello recognizes you for a quick login. But like I've had you can work the way two you want. Surface Books. Actually, I had Whether three. One got replaced because they had the like the bulging screen issue pad. from the battery. Um, I've had three or four accurate, surfaces and quiet, between like the RT, Pro, Pro 2. Optimized for an exact balance um, of travel and responsiveness. But Surface devices, the hardware, You'll feel the difference in solid. And the confidence you need to do your best work. We've tuned all the fundamentals you care about into a design that is sleek and light. In the size or color Bean has a Surface you, laptop. Bean, you still love your, edition, your laptop, don't you? Sage. Surface Laptop 5 is the perfect balance of beauty and performance. Like that's so Oh, I love that now green. Built on the latest Intel Evo platform, it's up to 50% more powerful but damn that than green. the previous generation. And with Thunderbolt 4, you can transfer data faster than ever and set up the perfect workspace with two 4K monitors. And all this performance is optimized for power efficiency. So you get all day battery life up to 18 hours. Ice bear good. And fast More ice bear. Gets you More good. Enrique, thank you for the follow. In Welcome in. Minutes. If you're like me, you have to deal with a lot of distractions when you're trying to get things done. That's why there's Focus, a new experience in Windows 11 that helps you stay on track. Focus shipped with 22H2. Yep. the notification center, you can start a focus session and filter out distractions. Listen to your favorite songs on Spotify as you run through your to-do list and get into your creative flow. And all this comes together on our stunning new 3x2 pixel sense display, which has more vertical space than the a The 3x2 factor, I like, I really, really like that. They've Dolby been doing Vision that for IQ a while, and I really like that. Any lighting with richer details and sharper contrast. And every Surface laptop is individually tuned in production for color accuracy. Qualities like these are critical to me because they enable me to see every detail of my work. But sometimes it's what you Microsoft can't has been new positioning Surface for impact. years to go after like the the, the Mac creative crowd. And with Dolby Atmos 3D spatial processing, you'll feel immersed in your audio. No, it's it, it integrates with Spotify, incredible. so like you set it up and then you tell it you want to focus and it plays like shit from others, your Spotify. It's, it's just like okay, we're playing it, gone. And heard. I I don't I don't like with anything Windows Apple. With Windows 11 and the HD camera, you get true to life video that automatically adjusts exposure for any lighting environment. Oh. Oh, and the front-facing nice. studio microphones capture your voice perfectly. You'll see the difference like in accuracy when you're array. voice typing or want to transcribe your presentation. Getting the details right matters. And building it's devices with the environment deal, in mind machine matters look nice versus perform well. I remember that. We are continuing that. our focus on that. making the Surface lineup more sustainable each year. But we're not just improving hardware alone. We are proud to announce that Windows 11 is the first computer operating system to offer a carbon aware feature and schedule Windows updates when your local grid has cleaner energy available. That's like actually true. That's something that's uh, the impact going on that, that I can set in Windows Update now. Purr, it is one step purr. in our journey at Microsoft to be carbon negative. Enrique, how you doing? A laptop is Hope still you're enjoying the everything today. Most people use to get things done. Yeah, you can That's tell Windows to Update to more. actually. Why it has you can to be tell perfect, it to. And why we made Surface um, Laptop Five with Windows 11. I think free. there's like settings that you can set. Let's see. Let me pull this down here. Yeah, there's, I forget exactly how it does it, but it will change your update times based on that. Oh, uh, I know they just released new dev tooling for this, um, but custom widgets are coming to Windows 11, so developers can make their own widgets, not just Microsoft provided ones. 
Just found out there's a Microsoft event. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're doing this, and then we're going to cover the uh, the Microsoft Ignite keynote uh, in about just under two hours. ThinkPad, ThinkPad keyboards are legit, and ThinkPads are also the only machines where I will even consider using the pointing stick versus a trackpad on the laptop. The only ones. Yes. Yeah, the keyboard nipple. Yep. That's the only... ThinkPads are the only ones where I like it even feels somewhat normal. I'll widget your face, Pernt. Doing some of the Ignite for work. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Android apps will run now thanks to uh, Amazon App Store integration and WSL. You can remotely view your apps on your Android device. Since its release last year, you've told us that you love Windows 11 more than any other version. And that inspires us. You inspire us. I, to take I it honestly. Further. Who the, who the fuck is family friendly? What the what the fuck is a family friendly? That we released a few weeks ago, and now I have the privilege of showing you even more. Over I really people, like Windows 11. One in five individuals. There are certain things about it that I don't like, but overall, especially a lot of the under the hood changes that they've made to make it a lot more efficient and clean out a lot of legacy code, especially in the UI around the task menu or taskbar and start menu. They pulled out a lot. They pulled out a lot of old code. What the fuck is a family friendly? Windows 11 now includes system-wide live captions from Love the live captioning content. feature. Love so that. You can see it instantly transcribed on the screen. Voice also, access which where allows is... you to control your PC oh, there using they are. only your voice. And natural voices for narrator, creating more pleasant sounding audio to assist in navigating, reading, browsing the web, and interacting with apps. These Windows features paired with our adaptive kit and the new adaptive accessories and 3D printed pen grips are designed to keep you focused on creating and being productive, putting you at the center. Oh, we man, believe the world super is super a super turned out you had a virus. Oof. Oof. Can participate. In an increasingly connected world, security concerns are top. That's of not mind. normal, man. Windows 11 That's not is normal. The most secure version of Windows ever. Smart Mine, like, uses Microsoft's 11 is actually faster on my machine than 10 was. It only allows apps to run that are predicted to be safe and will prevent malicious apps by blocking Got rid of it, begin and join it. Nice, nice. Smart app control also blocks scripts from the internet. Burnt, listen, you're welcome to stay, you know, but, if, but I appreciate Using the lurk AI, regardless. Microsoft assesses over 43 trillion signals a day and blocks over 900 password attacks. That Matt second. that very well Even could better, be a thing. Windows yeah. 11 with Windows Hello and passwordless support allows you to log into websites and Windows without a password at all. The ultimate defense against phishing. This is Windows working for you to keep you and your family safe. We know you want ways to work faster and more easily. The complexity of switching between projects, finding that document, remembering what you want to do next without getting distracted creates friction points that add up over the course of a day. And that's why we're helping you find files faster with smarter recommendations right in the start menu. Open I do wish I could turn recommendations in like just remove that section altogether. To I, that's, that is a feature I just do not use. Tabs, in file Explorer. tabs come into and File Explorer though, very excited about better. that. Windows understands that you're trying to arrange your content and conveniently offers you snap layouts that slide in from the top of the screen. And with guided snap assist, Windows recommends which apps you can place in the open spaces. This also makes comparing web pages in Microsoft Edge easy yet powerful. Yeah, the snap feet, the, the updated are snap features are really, really nice. Than ever before. Your ability to truly connect with others and collaborate in this hybrid world is essential. But then you can get even more detailed if you use the uh, if you get the new the updated power Windows toys for Windows. You can set up like specific on areas devices. on each monitor so much going on and drag the into them. It's Stay really really cool. Power Toys has a lot of cool screen. features. Microsoft Presenter Plus features quick and natural interaction. It's got a Teams with button. I love so that. You can That's so funny. Your slides and mute or unmute with the push of a button. Windows based because the VMs for actually. 
yeah. your physical death Hyper V is having one combined God, Hyper V is such a good a premium good. speaker and a I clear microphone array. Oh, when that's it's time right. Time to take a break that's or right. unwind from your uh, day. Hyper V is such a good hypervisor. So good. Whether you're playing the latest game or looking to lean back and stream, you can now search and find more apps, including over 20,000 Android apps from the Amazon App Store on Windows. When you're ready to jump back into your favorite games on your PC, they're just a tap away with your Xbox controller. Yep. Love that feature. Lastly, I want to highlight the work we have I'll done hypervise your face. customers across their devices. Yeah, you've heard They're of a supervisor? Get ready for a hypervisor. The most open platform, putting the customer's needs at the forefront. For the last few years, Windows customers who have Android phones have Wait, experienced is deployment done? Is it over? integration across messaging, calling, and photos directly to their Windows PC, bringing the two most important devices in their lives closer together. Me today, taking a day off of work. How's work going? That we're making it easier than ever. No, it's the normal time to just today. Oh. Photos and the entertainment what the hell? I thought they moved it to 10. Xbox and Windows devices. Oh, well, we start shit. by bringing iCloud right. photo integration into the Windows 11 photos. Oh, app. iCloud's just coming in. iCloud for Windows from the Microsoft Store and the photos you take well, look with at your that. iPhone. For, for, for the iPhone people, that's uh, that's going to be... Oh, and it tags them on the photo to see which ones they love, from iCloud easy. versus OneDrive. The I like that. When Bean tries to supervise, I provide. Bear, what are you doing? Bear. We're thrilled to Bear. Announce Bear. That Bear. Bear. Bear, what are you doing? That's Bean. We'll launch on Windows next year. Previous Apple Music and Apple TV coming to the Microsoft, Microsoft Store. Store. You can listen to your favorite music. That's actually and huge. Apple Music. And watch That's your huge. Apple TV Plus series and movies right on your Windows PC. Do we have Apple TV on the like Xbox right now? I don't know that we do. More people with great experiences you love across every device you use. Ten years ago, you can. We okay, we do have it on the Xbox. To take everything that people love about a high-performance okay. laptop and everything they love about tablets and combine them into one product, Surface Pro created an entirely new category of computing devices. It's a powerful, touch-capable laptop with a full keyboard. Mm -hmm. It's a thin and light handheld that can run your favorite apps. It's a unique studio canvas for pen input. All this in a single beautiful device and now it gets even better with surface pro 9 all right surface pro 9 oh 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 okay okay i'm into it I need the blue one. Yeah. Surface Pro is a tablet. Yes, yes. You can get a, um, you can get the keyboard cover for it, and, but on its own, it is a tablet with a built-in kickstand and built-in pen support. Yeah, no, I hate the blue one. Yeah, I hate blue almost as much as Lolly does. It's, it's our least favorite color. Um, okay, kind of, sort of, so, uh, iPad still runs the iPad OS, or iPad Pro still runs the iPad OS, the Surface Pro runs full Windows, runs the same Windows that runs on a PC, runs on a laptop, desktop, same thing. Uh, it does now the pro 9 i don't know if they're gonna have the pro i mean i'm sure we'll find out in a minute um they do have two different versions so the current pro 8 is x86 or x64 and the surface pro x is the arm version um every single part of surface pro 9 is meticulously crafted but i wouldn't be surprised if they combined it and just updated the chipset under the hood i love that i can hold it to draw Set it down to watch a favorite show or jump. Windows on ARM does with our basically everything that right Windows on X86 does and when now. You click in the keyboard, it transforms they show our, there, there's an SQ3 version. Laptop. Okay, they haven't I've shown it during the this webcast just yet. Was it? I didn't see that. I didn't notice that. And 
We collaborated Damn, with I miss that. based global design house Liberty with a special edition Liberty. Oh, it was a really quick flash. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Pro in Sapphire. Underneath an iconic Ooh. exterior, Surface has always been That's pretty. That's even more true today with Surface Pro 9. Well, then I guess they, the I guess we are getting Surface Pro 9 in two different architectures. That's neat. 12th gen processor built on the Intel Evo platform. With Thunderbolt connectors, you can set up two I like the blue a lot. For a I like that. Also, go, go, Gadget, welcome this in. This 13-inch Pixel see Sense display is stunning. It's engineered to give you the most accurate and the widest range of colors with yeah that's the thing matt you got to think of the surface pro the as less of a tablet as far as closer, the way it's built and more of an ultra book without a built-in keyboard making it easy to it's use really what it is touch. it's a, it's an ultra book without the a keyboard swipe brings up the start menu where i can find all my apps oh i love that pumpkin like Kindle, that's cool one of my favorite android apps it's such a great experience on a touch screen this large and with the swipe I can access my quick settings, including nightlight, which makes it easier and more comfortable on my eyes. And features like Android apps do run so natively on touch, Windows 11, thanks to the Windows subsystem for Linux version 2, Pro 9 is also an which they have put so much work into. With your surface slip pen. Uh, potentially a nice upgrade for your first gen Pro X. Oh, absolutely. Keyboard, absolutely. So at the bottom of your back. The, the Pro X is really good, but it's definitely a first-gen device. Like it's, it's so easy to search with just my pen. But if this has, if this is and running, thought, um, if this has an SQ3 configuration, this will be really, sketch, really nice. Drop in images and take notes all in one place. The pen itself has At that a point. A Surface Pro is just a Surface Pro. So it just really depends on right. what and you prefer as far as par a processor is. Bonding, so the ink flows out from the very tip Ice bear of good. Pen. More ice bear, more good. Go, go, Gadget. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate you. Makes it feel like you're writing on a real piece of paper. I haven't tried the now, flat pen yet. I still have, like, the regular, like, Windows round 11. pens. I'm excited to announce and I think notes. they're downstairs, One of the too. Most well, they're next to my surface book. Today is coming soon on Windows. And our friends at GoodNotes have made it even better on Surface. I'm sure many of you spend a lot. I don't know a lot about different note-taking apps because I use OneNote. We knew we had to get three critical parts perfectly dialed. Debated in a tablet tonight. because you're a fan of taking physical notes. Centered, so you're not looking. Surface has always been the really good at taking notes with a pen. A like this, angle, so you the, and the pen for you. Surface has always been really good. Really, really good. You. you lost your. Oh no! Oh, I've, I've done that. Result, I found it like three months later when I had no idea what I was looking for, but like I've, I've done that. We're excited about Pro 9 and what you can create with it, but we knew we had to push it even further. And today, we're introducing Surface Pro 9 with, with 5G. 5G. Built on the new Microsoft SQ3 processor. There it is. Powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon. This device has incredible power, super fast 5G connectivity, and up to 19 hours of battery. Just need to hunt in the area, With yeah. entirely new processing remarkable capabilities, too. we're going to show you some incredible oh. video call experiences you will only get on your Surface Pro 9 with 5G. Okay, okay. In the 90s, e -ink is, ignited I love e-ink displays so much. And graphics design. But today, neural processing units or technical fellow, that's are igniting magical and powerful in the Microsoft world. That will light up your creativity, Those are the people that know what the fuck they're doing and transform how you connect with people in your life. The new Surface Pro 9 with 5G has the most powerful NPU ever built for Windows. And it gives Azure Cloud a more oh capable they're, AI They're talking about NPUs again. It's nimble, fast, and efficient. The Pro 9 sits at the forefront of an entirely new... <laughs> okay, not lurking. Hi, Holly is. It can do more than 15 trillion calculations per second with just a few watts of power. And hey, listen, they're very excited. You. They're very excited. All that computational power drives Surface Pro 9 and Windows Studio effects. They told everyone this to pretend to be super excited. Truly one of the I wouldn't be surprised if these folks are actually truly excited about this. Until now, nobody has pulled together the power of these I would be. all in one place ever before. <laughs> but you all I know. Stuff that. Means. So, let's lose the production cameras and we're going to switch to the Pro 9 camera. The image produced by this new camera is 
absolutely beautiful. And the new portrait blur emulates the wide aperture optical effect of a professional DSLR camera. I often move around the room while I'm video calls. Sometimes Not bad. just me, sometimes I have friends or family or even colleagues with me. Portrait group memory of Professor. With oh, built I'm right sorry, in, Liz. The burden of trying to stay in but the you got to do what you got to do. More. And what's even cooler, we all know that as a camera zooms in, you would typically become blurry. Well, we solved this problem using the MPU. As the camera zooms in, we simultaneously depixel the image using our innovative super resolution algorithm right in the auto frame, helping your pictures maintain its sharpness and quality, whether you're near or far. Wherever this you are. This is an industry first. Let me call one of my colleagues. who will show you how Windows Studio FX helps you stay connected no matter the environment. Hey, Oyen. Hey, Stevie. I'm outside here on campus, connecting with you remotely on 5G using my Surface Pro 9. You may have heard the expression, we speak with our eyes. And in this world, when most of your work gets done on video calls, connecting is more important than ever. With the latest generation of our pioneering... <laughs> Looks like you're being replaced features, by the Surface Pro. <laughs> we can stay engaged, maintaining natural eye-to-eye -eye contact. Surface is still the only PC that's How are you, to buddy? Level. It's a it's a Microsoft it not, event. This whole time I've been talking. How, they're gonna do the Teams call sound. We we all are, are every way. single one of us just just now. With a powerful MPU, we can run large models efficiently, so you can. I'm looking in the background to see if I know where I'm this sure is on campus. Any of this is is that weird? That's weird. I don't even live like there. I don't even go here. Decided this is the right time to blow leaves. You should hear how it really sounds. Hold on. It's more difficult to hear me, right? So let me turn this back on. Seriously. In almost any noisy situation, okay, there's a leaf that's in impressive. Or someone clapping directly into the microphone, voice focus helps you be heard. No that's what. fucking impressive. Back to you, Stevie. They wouldn't let me bring my leaf floor in here, so I brought my hair dryer instead. And with voice focus turned on, can't hear it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, the the hair dryer. Yeah, it's a little it's a little compressed, but like that level of noise reduction on a live voice call. But what's outstanding. Is the Surface Pro outstanding. All these effects run concurrently and continuously in real time on each video frame while consuming just a few watts of power. On a standard computer, even with the most powerful processors, we would barely be able to run just one of these effects, let alone all of them at the same time. This combination of experiences, the sheer amount of computing and efficiency is unprecedented. Yeah, this is... It's built right into Windows. And we this just is click cool a stuff. This is really cool stuff. any of your favorite video or audio apps or even on the web. And all this magic happens while leaving your CPU and GPU unburdened so your application tasks can run smoother and faster. All right, I'm, I'm more impressed by the, the NPU beginning. now. I'm more impressed by the you NPU. See, these AI-powered experiences, they will continue to demand more from our computers, from requiring trillions of operations per second to the most magical experiences that can really only run in the cloud, requiring quadrillions of operations per second. And when you combine the local processing capability of your Windows PC with the compute power of Azure working as a single unit, that's when the magic happens. This unifying compute landscape will give rise to a whole new set of experiences and new applications that will help you imagine, it will help you create, and it will help you design this is fantastic like never stuff. before. Yeah, you just saw what it means when your Windows PC has the power of rich, local AI capabilities. Now hold that idea. We're going to come back to it in just a minute. But first, I want to talk to you about one more product. The new Surface Studio 2 Plus. Oh, this okay. A refresh of the studio. Creators Canvas. Oh. And it is, uh, it is so... <laughs> Dang powerful. work. We've redesigned I, it. I took Intel the day off for this. I'm not even going to lie. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. It is five times... Oh, it's got a 3060 built into that. Surface That's... Studio. It's got three Thunderbolt ports. One of the things that everyone had asked for. All creators are pushing us for. I mean, I love it. I love everything about this device. Okay, okay. Here's the thing I love about it most. Um, 
13 and a half million pixels, so they light up for you. They just light up for you. 4K resolution. There's over Fucking a billion colors. Us. The color so great. is a DCI P3 for those of you who are fans. New Dolby Vision. It's Dolby it's not, panels. but to be in a form gorgeous, factor that's like this size, to have the entire is, PC, that's the entire PC. So to have it in that form factor, sheet of pixels, that's, your that's the thing. The zero gravity hinge. That's the thing. Uh, and then Windows 11 Besides, this is made for creatives, spots. so this isn't designed to be like a high-powered gaming machine, but to get that that level of that, of graphics team. power in a form but factor that's essentially that small. It comes to life. So I'll open my Twitter page. I'm just going to grab it. Use the windowing mechanism here. Uh, you see it come in the top left corner. I'm going to open Instagram, bring on media player, and then I'm going to have just being four 14 inch displays, four apps at once. And only, only here with this. Yeah, screen, the updated Windows tablet features for um, the taskbar and the start okay. menu. I want to take you. They've back really for a refined that lately. And I'm very AI. happy about that. Stevie showed you how that comes to life locally on your PC. But I want to show you the power of the cloud, power of cloud-based AI, and what it means expressed through an application. We get asked a lot, like, can I explain it? All right. I want to introduce you a new product called Microsoft Designer. This is a very cool product. It's a new graphic design app in Microsoft 365. It's, it is uh, powered by best-in-class AI. I'm getting Microsoft expression Dolly vibes. Two. Now it's going to help you oh. bring your most creative visions to life in entirely mm. new ways. Take a look. You see it has a pen that comes with it. You can get that you it doesn't come with it typically because not everybody uses it but the uh but the surface products yeah, have the pin that you can get for it content it's or ideas so so good and makes it easy to design social media posts important for me invitations and much more and fast all right it automatically helps you get a variety of unique images and designs that are generated but that's part of the reason why the surface you. studio no, folds just down you. like that is okay, because it supports the pen the iCloud in the photos app it's a big deal like they specifically have that hinge going at that angle I'm uploading so image, the original surface you can prototype. absolutely now, use the pen with it potential layouts i can choose from but i'm going to use dolly we built this in to create a very specific image for you you can do this yourself. You can see that Dolly's working now, searching, generating an image based on the exact description that I type. I mean, it's really cool. It's really cool. You can customize, get exactly what you want with words, including color, I font, or size options. I have thoughts on the whole now, AI generated the heavy art for you here, and the Dolly's. Creates a custom yeah. image you know, based on mm. your idea. Our AI powered design ideas. This feature is there and ready to help you polish the design with just a single click. Okay, now I can post directly from designer to my LinkedIn or Instagram account, which is super cool. I love the hashtag recommendations too. Now I'm excited to share this post with you. Let me just share it really quick. Awesome. The integration of Microsoft AI and Dolly 2 in our new Microsoft designer app is an amazing example of AI assistance Blurring the lines between the platform, the device, and the cloud, all so you can express yourself even better. It saves time, improves creative outcomes, regardless of your level of expertise. It's mm -hmm. not like mine. We don't believe Enrique. Thank you. And thanks for thanks for stopping by. Any single point should be limited to a single app. That's why we're also bringing these Microsoft Creator tools, including Dolly 2 integration, into Bing and Edge with the new Bing image creator. Now you can use your words, oh, not just to search, God. but to create. This is coming soon. At Microsoft, yeah. we recognize the most magical experiences yeah, that's, happen. I guess that's the way the these things are going. Where people, technology, and devices I would just like to know where they get their pool There's never of images been from, source images for this. Better time to experience the possibilities of what you saw today that right they trained now. it on what you just saw with stevie and oyen was rich ai on the edge on the device itself 
And with Dolly in Designer and in Edge, we show you AI in the cloud in service to you. And when we talk about, this is when we talk about the Windows PC and Azure becoming teammates. I can see that, Liz, but at the same time, enabling you to take your so much of AI is trained right now and heart into on the world. other people's work without now, their consent, without their permission. In just a few moments at Ignite today. So I, I have sure certain... The next wave of computing is here. I have certain right ethical now. concerns about it. And we've created now. If you train it, on, if you. you have an AI model that you've used that you've trained on your own art, that's one thing. Okay, so that's the end of the Surface event. So some really cool stuff there. Uh, let's go see if they've got any of that posted yet. Oh yeah, they sure do. So we've talked about the event. There's the Surface Pro 9. Let's go take a look at this and see what we've got here. Release date, oh, two weeks. So yeah, so you can get it with a regular i5, an Evo i5 or i7, or the SQ3. The Evos are the ones that come in the colors. God, that sapphire is just so pretty. The high-end configurations only come in the... Hi, it's the, me, Stan. The, the gray. I am. I am, in fact, doing this. Hi, Stan. It's you, Stan. Let's see. I already have Microsoft 365. Don't care about that. Yeah, and then you can get the keyboard covers uh, with or without the pin. Either way, it's got the built-in slot for the pin, which is nice. Um, then you can go down to, like, the original Pro keyboard. Um... You know, the Pro and the Pro Signature. The Signature, uh, let's see, the Pro is used to be the Pro X keyboard. Now they've they've updated it. It's spendy. Yeah, I'm not going to get one of these. I'm not getting a Pro 9. No. So we got a Surface Pro 9 today, we got the Studio 2 Plus, and we got the laptop, the updated laptop. Yeah, that's an i7 crammed in there. I have, um, downstairs, I've got a Surface Book 2 with an i7 crammed in it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a Surface 5 in both sizes. Um, Surface Studio 2 Plus and Surface Pro 9. So that's what we got today. So we had a little combination of both hardware and software talk today. Um, there's That's my phone right there. And there's an old 8th Gen i7. It's getting to be a bit long in the tooth. I, I understand that. I understand that very well. Uh, I don't know if you can even get... Can you even get a Surface Book anymore? I don't think you can. Because it's been replaced by the Laptop Studio. Yeah, so Laptop 5, Laptop Studio, Laptop Go To. Surface Book is no longer a thing. The Surface Book was cool because it had the detachable screen. Really, really thought that was cool, but I get why they changed the form factor on that and went to the Surface Laptop Studio. It just makes more sense, you know? Like, not a lot of folks were using it just with the screen on its own. 
I mean, I, I basically never do. I'll flip it around, but that's what the Surface Laptop Studio does. It folds down to, to be tablet first. Let's see, what do these have these days? Yeah, there's where it folds. Folds to that section. These start at $1,400, which I get. Uh, but they are on sale right now. Oh, the big nasty one. is That's, that's pricey, but let's see. I wonder what the... Uh, okay, we can't... Let's look at the specs. Oh no, did I go back too far? I did go back too far. Oops. So if we go to the specs down here, the i7 laptop studio has a RTX 3050 Ti laptop GPU, four gig of GDDR6, which I mean, again, for a thing this size, that's not bad. Still expensive though. Four pounds, not bad at all. Up to 18 hours of of use. <gasps> Pingu! Hi, Pingu. How are you? Good to see you. See, got the mic array. It's got the Dolby Atmos already built in. Yep. So yeah, this would be... I. If I do replace my Surface Book at some point, I mean, eventually I will. But it's going to be with an updated one of these. I'm not going to get the current gen one. I'll wait for the Surface Laptop Studio 2, which will be at least another year. Um, so. But I mean, even this comes with an 11th gen i5 or i7, which isn't bad. Oh, I'm doing all right, Pingu. I took a day off today and decided, what the hell, let's stream some Microsoft stuff. Um, we still have some time, but can it run Doom? I don't know. Can anything really run Doom? Everything runs Doom. Or Doom runs on everything. You really like the Surface Book? Well, sadly, abandon it, but you get why the studio is a good upgrade, just not the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I feel this, the exact same way about it. I, I just... Like, it's really... It's it's a really good looking device. Like it's a great looking device. Um and I I love that they have like the thermal the way they have the thermal lip on this. I I like I love the design of the laptop studio. It's just not a surface book, but it, like you said, I get why. You can even run Doom and Doom. That's true. Hell and Doom Eternal, that's that's a core part of the game is running Doom and Doom. Working on your little ninja culinarian and gunbreaker. What? 14? I haven't played 14 in weeks. I actually might need to go pause my subscription because it's been a while. Uh, so that's not bad. Let's see. Two USB 4 with Thunderbolt 4. Dedicated charging port. Integrated Surface Slim. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot it's got the pin storage on it. Do they have the... Do they have like where you can see it? Or is it just like slip under the underside there? I guess it just like magnetically attaches under there. And uh I did not see your scary potato. Fifteen minutes before you have to disappear for class. Liz, go to class. Have a good day. Learn something. 
And don't let the bastards get you down. That's our stage mode there. And then there it is in tablet mode. Or studio mode. It's tablet mode. But it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's very, very good. You tagged me on, wait, on Facebook? Oh, I'm never on Facebook. Oh, on Twitter. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, I'm, I'm never on Facebook. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, that's really cute. That's super cute. But yeah, um, so let's go, let's go back for a second and let's look at, yeah, let's look at the laptop five. I want to look at the 13, 13 and a half inch and see. The 13 and a half inch. I mean, with an i5, 8 gig of RAM, which pretty standard still, and there's still not a whole lot of stuff that you can't do with it. 256 gigs solid state, that's, that's not terrible. Then you can get it in the sage green, the black, oh, the black is so good. Or the sandstone, the sandstone's nice too. Let's go. Iceberg needs it for everyday hustling. <gasps> Pingu! Pingu, thank you for that Prime sub. I know you only get one, and when you use it here, that means a whole bunch. Thank you so much. Yeah, so. Looks like they're, they're just not. They're, getting, they're liquidating their laptop 4 stock now in favor of the laptop 5, which makes sense. Starting a thousand bucks isn't bad. Now let's see what we got here. Wait, what? Iceberg needs it for everyday hustling. Matt, Matt, thank you again. Thank you all for the prime subs. That's that means a lot. Thank you very much. Let's see. Huh. I don't know why it's why I'm eligible for student pricing. Maybe it still has like my old college account connected or something, but I'm not gonna I mean it's a hundred hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. That's even wait, what is it wait, is it ten percent? Oh it's that's that's not a hundred bucks, that's ten percent. I know Pingu. Time zones are blech, but I'm always happy to see you. Listen, ten percent discount is nothing to sneeze at. Wait a minute. Does that mean I also get my discount on on the big boy? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, is it up here? No. No. Oh, it's right in front of me. Poof. Back to yours, yeah. You would like the most expensive one and you will Venmo me. Yeah, right? And figure now. Okay, so this is just the regular sale. But I don't know. I like I don't even think I would need like the th mm, I might well, okay, I would consider the 32 gig. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Press don't seem too out of line for a premium laptop device. No, they they really don't. Like especially for how solid these things are built. 
And I mean, go, go, you, you've had surface devices, you know, like these things are not cheaply built. These are very solid, sturdy machines. And 32 gig and a tablet and an RTX two terabyte. Yeah. Like, like to get all of that in to cram that into this space, that's twenty seven hundred dollars worth of machine. It really is. It is. It absolutely is. Cracking hashes on a freaking tablet, right? <laughs> oh man. First Pro Three that still gets occasional use. Think hitting cockroaches will be all that survive World War Three. Listen, man, those Surface Pros, like especially those first few gens of them. Um, like the Surface RT, the Pro, Pro 2, Pro 3, those things are still beasts. Um, I had a, I had a Surface RT and if, like if the, the OS wasn't so like, I don't know, hampered by like a lot of the stuff that they didn't have at the time in Windows 8, I would probably still have it. I just got rid of a long time. I've I've had so many devices that I've had to get rid of just because it's like it's not practical anymore. And a lot of them I I got for free, so I'm not complaining about that either. It's fun when work sends you to a conference and you get to keep the goodies that they uh, give you. So yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, so we have about trading your RT for two hundred bucks at Target and the thing they got that they got the better end of that deal. You know, I don't. Mm, at this point, they're probably recycling it for for materials, honestly. So, you know, two hundred bucks, you probably got end up getting the better end of that deal. Um, okay, so we have about an hour. Um, so I wonder what I could do for the hour leading up to MS Ignite, because Ignite won't start for. Yeah, so Ignite starts in like another. Come on now. Yeah, Ignite starts in about 50 minutes. Um, I know, Tani. Listen, it's a special day. It's Microsoft event day. It's it's Surface event and Ignite. So we got that coming up. Um, so I'm going to cover the Ignite keynote as well. It's the first big night because you're 90 minute CTF event for work. Oh, boo. Let's see. You know what I could do in the meantime? Uh, I could, I could side quest in Wind Waker. I have some time. I'm going to be playing Wind Waker later tonight, so. Yeah, let's do this for a little bit, because like I said, we've got, we can switch back in about 45 minutes or so. I have not even looked at the session list in Ignite, so I have no idea what's going on. No clue. Well, thanks, Matt. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I haven't done anything like this in a while. Um... I miss doing, like, I haven't done a live coverage stream like this in a while. Let's see. Oh, do I, how do I, wait a minute, how do I get it to be color? Their photo. I don't know.
Alright, what do I do with the, uh... <laughs> Miro, thanks for the lurk, buddy. I'll see you in a little bit, hopefully. And back to harass me? Perfect. I'm gonna buy a thousand of these. Did they update my game from special events? No. Maybe. I don't know. Listen, that's. You're asking a lot of me. Tom is half here, busy. Yeah, I saw you're having a busy morning, bud. Uh, go, go, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, let's... Uh... Oh. I'm just gonna buy all the fucking flowers that this guy has. Give me all of the bacon and eggs you have. I know what I'm about, son. <laughs> I don't think you heard me. Huh. What I think you heard was, give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, Give me all the bacon and eggs you have. <laughs> well, let me buy another one. <laughs> you know what? I will have that third steak after all. <laughs> me, this week. Come on, get over here. It's my first favorite food wrapped around my third favorite food. Bacon wrapped shrimp. Did I buy three? I guess I did. All right, let's go. Mm. They're gonna follow me around now. These little shits following me around. You? All right. Gat and morning. How are you? Oh, son of a. Ugh. Are there any uh, around here that I can... I'm running email from Amazon recruiters. 
I had a meta recruiter reach out to me last week or the week before. I just cannot bring myself to even fucking bother. Just no. No, I would. No, I don't think I will. Prime Video needs devs. I tell you who needs fucking devs is the, the team working on Discovery Plus. Actually, they don't need devs. They need fucking UX people. Yeah, that's what I thought, Tom. All things considered, want to code some VR stuff? Oh, there you go. There you go. They bulk mailed your entire dev team? Oof. Oof. That's not a bad look. Not even a little. Yikes. That's a big old yikes. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. What's wrong with all this? Um, so... Well, you work for a lawyer, so you understand. Uh, Meta, the parent company of Facebook, uh, is just... One, they're... They're just terrible, which is why I don't care to get recruitment emails from them or to work for them. Two, um, imagine, think of it like this, Pernt. Imagine if someone were to email all of the paralegals at your firm and be like, hey, want to come work for our firm instead? We're looking for paralegals. And just dropped a mass email bomb to try to, to basically poach people. That's... That's essentially what tech recruiters do. And it's just... Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pingo. They... they, Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you taking the job, but to email you... Like, to mass email you at your current job's email and be like... But what if you came to work for us instead? It's just kind of sleazy. But a lot of tech recruiters are like that. Yeah, exactly. Just have some fucking common courtesy. I gotta go in Shithead's house and put flowers in there. It's because you wish someone would do that. Well, okay, so now you're just projecting, Pernt. Nobody's seeking you out? Well, have you put yourself out there to be sought after? Fuck you both. I outrank you at the fucking auction every night. Shut the fuck up. Pert fucking what? Ooh, yes, absolutely, Pingu. All of the fingers and toes and whatnots crossed. Okay, Pert. Whatever you say, buddy. Listen, you know what? You do you, boo boo. I didn't find a job for a year. <laughs> Go. Go to Microsoft Jobs and look in their uh, their CELA department, C E L A. That's their compliance and legal and shit. And bet they have jobs. What you do marketing for the firm? Fuck! You can. Everybody needs marketing people. Literally, everybody needs marketing people.
Marketing people are the only fucking reason why salespeople can actually get shit done. It just sits down there like that. Okay. All right, buddy. Whatever you say. Oh, like the inside of the house? Yeah. Yeah, like the, the, the house music in Wind Waker. Is, all the music in this game is so good. Hey, is this the uh, is this the potion shop? It is the potion shop. Neat. I still haven't played Breath of the Wild one. In my defense, I know that if I start playing it, I will do nothing but play it to completion. That's probably not good for me. Eh, but, like, Breath of the Wild gives you weapons so frequently that... You don't have to worry about durability so much. Like, it, it basically just throws weapons at you. Plus, it has cooking. Love a good cooking mechanic in a game. Into Breath of the Wild for a while, and suddenly it was like, okay, done, never touched again. Well, yeah, that happens to you though, Tom. Like, you get to a point where you're like, all right, this is this is my limit. I have completed what I set out to do, and that's it. We're we're fucking done here. Cooking was a favorite. You get the old school green outfit after you complete 120 or side dungeons. Fuck, man, I love me some side quests. Good lord, I love me some side quests. Put all these town flowers out. So uh, let's just go ahead and do the, the fucking quest for this. It's definitely not on your second playthrough. Oh no, 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 why would you do that? The right reward is that they give it to you once you've done all the things. You did it all, you're not going to get to see and wear the outfit now. Um. Fucking 900 Koroks. What to do? How to do? Gotta get that golden turd. 
Yep. You just you just can't. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That's that is a lot, TM. Not a fan of tedious just to be tedious. Yeah, that's just like, okay. A potion? Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, no, I don't need it right now. Yep. Hmm. Don't tell him how to live his life. It is his shop. He will run his shop his way. Aha! Uh -huh. It's the traveling merchant. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Bob's between waves. Oh. Okay. Would you like this weird flower? That's a town flower! Uh, for this sea fl I would love a sea flower. The 20 rupees. Done. All right. Gotta make a little profit. Hold out both hands, but I will only hold it up with one. Okay. A heart filled reward, huh? Oh. That's a sea flower, you know, just like the one that you gave me. Sure, I would love an exotic flower. Sure, why not? What the hell? Okay, so... Bomb Island, Mother and Child Isles. Let's go... Your entire brand is tedious just to be tedious. It's... Hern, are you anal? I would have never guessed. Due north. Mind my listen. You you made it everybody's business. Nyom. Look at me. Look at me. Nyom. Nyom. been in this one? I don't know. Let's find out. You're Commander Shepard and this is your favorite stream on the Citadel. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favorite stream on the Citadel. That's fantastic. Uh, I feel like I haven't been here. Hi, uh, hey, what's up, health bars? 
Oh, I have been here because the chest is open. Oh. That's one of them things. Love them things. Yeah. I'll throw the stick. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. I have so much monies. I have so much monies. I have I have just under five thousand monies. Alright, we got another traveling merchant around these parts. Around here. Oh wait, 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 wait. I can do I can do the bomb island stuff. It is so many several monies. I got a rock. Hey, th hey, that's not very nice. Yay, I did it. Alright, let's go, uh, a gathering of monies. Hey, look, it's the wandering merchant. No, it could be. Man, it's so weird. It's like that wandering merchant looks so familiar. Yes, I would. I love anything moon-related, why not? Yay! My good friend, the postman. But what if I traded you what you just gave me for something else? Also, maybe. A little blemish, fuck you. You sold it to me. You fucking bastard. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I know, right? God. I guess get wrecked me. <laughs> A loser is me. Why bomb when I can just pick up? <gasps> every time, every time. Look at this high quality thing. Oh, well, now that you bought it, I don't know, it's used now. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna do one of these, huh? through the door. Right, what do we got in here? Anything good? Anything fun? Hey, look, money. I love money. Huh, okay. Ow! was a close one. It's alright. I got plenty of hearts. And... 
My bottom. My biscuits are burning. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Oh. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. This is ski ball, but for dumb centipede thingies. I got one. You go away. I'm tired of your shit. And you come over here. Yeah, I did it. Come on, be something good. I mean, it's in a spiky chest, so that's that bodes pretty well for me. Hey, hey, I'll take that. All right, let's doodle. We done this. Hmm, I don't care. I'm done here. Ah. A hot piece. Well, you would know, Tom. Yep. Yep. I think there would be such a container. All right, now I need to go up to mother and child, but I can't go directly to it because then I'll just, well, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could try and see what happens. Oh wait, I have empty bottles. I don't want 
the water. I want the freaking fairy, not the water. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nope. That was way too far. Come on. This is the whole stream now. Just me. Just filling a bottle with water. And emptying it again. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. There we go. Alright. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to do this from the outside. Because I think in here is just the fairy fountain. I think. Hey, get on the stump. Yeah, I think the stump is just a stump. Uh, yeah, Pernt. It's called Fashion Sweaty. Look it up. Also, that is the Hero's Mask. Or the Hero's Charm, rather. It's the Hero's Charm. Uh, a faced moistener. <laughs> no, Lolly, that's different. Wow. Wow, just... I'm sorry, are you saying that Tom's version of fashion is wrong and yours is correct? Are you wearing... What What the fuck kind of pants are you wearing right now? Fancy pants? Oh, look at me. I'm pert and I wear fancy pants because I have a job. I wear fancy pants. Listen, I barely wear hard shorts when I go to the Olive Garden, all right? The fanciest of pantsiest. You, you don't know, oh, go to, okay. If you go to the, the settings cog wheel for chat and go to your chat appearance, uh, I'm sorry, not the chat appearance, the, um, well, no, yeah, yeah, I think it is chat appearance. Then you can set your like your chat badges and stuff, and that's like your your different icons, and that's where you can set it. You gonna tank top and long legged boxers right now? Mayhaps, mayhaps. Oh, I'm sorry, Pert. Do you not work from home? That sounds very unfortunate for you. Imagine working. Imagine working. In an office. In town, it's all cargo shirts and dad sneakers. Listen, Matt, I don't even do sneakers. I'm in Florida, baby. I wear flip-flops. With, with my flippy floppies. My flippy floppies. Paints at her office job, straight flipping copies. <laughs> like some kind of a look at this nerd working in an office. 
the dolphin splash and getting your body all wet. <laughs> I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. <laughs> I mean, Pern, do you do anything that requires you to physically be in the office? <laughs> she works for rich old white men. Uh. I'm sorry, do... I mean, who among us doesn't work for rich old white men? I guess technically... Technically I don't, because I work for a credit union, and every single member of the credit union is an equal shareholder. So, dis so proportionally speaking, we have, I work for fewer rich old white men. That's, Pingu, that's fucking fair, buddy. That's fucking fair. 35? Alright, I'll take it. Let's go. Oh, that's the big sail flag. Look at that. Let me get one of them, let me get a big sail. Mm. All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, now I need to go to... I need to go to Windfall. Uh, four days, four days until we start Ocarina of Time. I'm extremely excited. Two whole weeks of it, baby. It's gonna be fan fucking tastic. Wait, aren't you the guy? Well, you know what? In fairness, fuck you, guy. Oh, shit, heal. Look at this. Look at this guy. Fucking wrecked, nerd. Alright, let's go back to Great Fish Isle. Yep.
Yes, but I was calling you one. So, you know, now that we're all clear on it, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Oh, God, don't come in here with that Sag. All of all of the munchins of butts. And Tom's over here feeling left out now. I would love a hero's flag, yes. In need of repair. Fucking sales guy. Every time. Let's see something here. Alright, I think that's good. Uh, and now I need to go to... Yeah, what the hell. Shortcut's a shortcut. Wait, what? What's going on? Who are you? Who is that? No one knows. What are you doing? Uh, 
Waiting for the dawn. <laughs> or something. I don't know. That's fair. Why do you sound different? You mean why do I sound different? I don't know. It just sounds like you're not on your, uh... You might, like your headset's being weird or Iceberg something. needs it for everyday hustling. Coco! 20 months. Coco, I love you, buddy. I miss you. Like, sounds fine, or...? Oh, now it sounds fine. No. Oh, alright. Maybe it was Discord being Discord. That's totally possible. Yeah, that's fair. I'm playing hooky in between meetings. Don't tell my boss. Oh, I, I won't tell him. I won't, yeah. How dare you be on Discord between meetings? This is this is new and unprecedented information. Coco, what you up to today, buddy? That's why you have two machines at your desk. <laughs> so do we. Yep. So do we. We both do. One is the fun box, the other is the hurt box. Fun box, hurt box. Uh, you're at work, just chilling in the data center, you know, watching YouTube. Let's see, okay. Uh, okay, now. Ah, no, I need to, I need to trade this with him as well. You know, bud, I know it's a, uh, part of the main quest, but you could do all 100 floors of that thingy. Oh, yeah, you know, I did that last night, <laughs> off stream. I did it in the Discord. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> actually, it ended up only being 50 floors. Huh. I thought it was 100. It's, a, it's only... Uh no, it's it's it it was only fifty even in the the GameCube version. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, the only thing. That so they... what you're saying is, is uh, <laughs> you probably could have done it <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> so here's the fun thing. Uh, when I did it last night in the Discord. Uh, by the way, if you're not in the Discord, why? Uh, I did. I got to floor forty nine, the last enemy floor. And I died. Like, died, died. Oh, oh, buddy. Like, ripperoni. And I had to start it all over again. <gasps> Coco, yes! Yes. Have you tried getting good? Pingu, that's fair. That's fair, friendo. But there's also pictures of, of loaf in there. Because loaf. Okay. Uh, let's see. Legally distinct work jargon. Work jargon? I hate work jargon. So we bought a um, we bought me a pillow for uh, that you put in between your legs. Oh yeah. When you sleep at night. Mhm. Mm the patented leg um, pillow. Yeah, yeah, and um, we have found that in my sleep, I will if I go to roll onto my back and sleep at night, I will actually take it out from underneath my blanket and just let it set on my chest while I'm sleeping. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. Like, you're just laying there, and like, in your sleepy you sit, you're like, no. You farted in one of the channels, but you won't say which one. <laughs> that sounds about right. That's our Tom. Farted in Krakow's channel, would we have even noticed? That's that's also fair, yeah. Oh, you love, you love to see it. 
Look at all the stuff. He's got so much stuff. Come down here and talk to me, merchant man. Come talk to me down here. All right, now I need my pictograph box. I played Amazon's the New World. I did play New World. I played New World during the uh, the beta. Um, it was it was okay. Um, like you know me, I I I enjoy pirate themed things, but I as a whole, I don't think it was for me. The piratey stuff, like the the, it's just I don't know. It's it's hard for me to find an MMO that I can kind of latch on to, and I just wasn't really feeling it. Did did you see the uh, Sea of Thieves TikTok I sent you a while back, where someone ramped their boat off of something onto went, another <sighs> boat? Yeah, yeah. When they were playing Freebird, playing Freebird, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zero! Zero, how you doing, buddy? And clean your room, goddammit. Or, you know, whatever. Whatever the kids say these days. Yeah. Right, are you gonna go sneak over there? There you go. And since they did a bunch with the new expansion, seems pretty fun. Started playing again recently. Ooh, okay. I might have to give it another look. Is it still, like, free to play? I see you over there, you little shit. Oh, it's 40 bucks now. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. I guess when it came out, that was our free trial. MMOs, even free-to-play ones, usually charge up front for the expansion. The latest expansion. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess. So, is is it just the expansion that's 40 bucks? Is the base game still free? I don't know. I, I never know these things. You've never... Oh the oh the base game's forty and the expansion's free. Oh, oh I see. I have free bird stuck in my head now. Yeah, well that's it's totally my own fault. That's yeah, it's yeah, it is. <gasps> Snackies. Did Snacky show up? Snackies has arrived. Glad you got away from WoW. Yeah, well, WoW's... WoW has its own problems. The price... Price isn't the problem with WoW. It's... The community, honestly, is the biggest problem with WoW. Yeah. No, that is well for sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know, Tay. I know. Can you believe it? Yeah, I haven't, uh... I tried Shadowlands, and I was like, you know, no, I'm good. Like, I don't even think I made it out of the next, out of the first tier, and I was good. Nothing. Meow. I love when Link makes the weird meow. Wow, also announcing the new expansion this year and then like seeing where the state of the beta is at and the fact that they have a release date for it I'm like no thank you Yeah, you better run, Squirrel. Oh, yeah. I wonder if... I don't think the picture I got was good enough. I don't think it's good enough to, to catch. That's not going to cut it. I'm trying to show you the picture. It's not going to work. All right. I think this is as good a time as any to... Save. Okay. Alright, so I think what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, also, hi, Sammy. Um, sorry, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back in probably about two minutes. Um, and then... When I get back, uh, we will start um, watching the um, the Microsoft Ignite keynote. So let me switch back to special events. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a two-minute break. Uh, I will be back, and then when we go, uh, then we'll go live with uh, the MS Ignite stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, BRB. Okay. Did, did you, you, you're the one that told me that said and gives not only gives well fine whatever because you tried to only give me credit i was trying to make sure gives got credit too we both are the reason it wasn't just me and it wasn't just her both of us you're just about to take an l if it doesn't throw up and give you more space don't make faces at me like that <laughs> don't look at me in that tone of voice look at you however i want to look at you Just wait, okay, I'm. Oh. I'm waiting. I thought we were I'm, going in a circle. <laughs> I still have like another few no. seconds. Do it now! Do it now! Do it now! Do it now! Oh my god! Do it now! What? Uh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! It's refreshing. Yeah! 
Go, 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 Let me do my weep shit. No. Let me do my weeb shit? He must That's... be on a samurai. Oh. Weave shit. I thought you said weeb shit, and I was like, I thought no. you... Said weeb shit. Weeb shit. Oh, you did say weeb shit. Okay. Alright, well then I was about to say, I thought you were always doing your weeb shit. No, Samurai have a thing that whenever you finish one of their, like, three combos, they get a a little little shiny thing that lights up, and then, depending on the number of shiny things that they have lit up, they push a button, and they do a completely ineligible illegible thing that and does And what do you damage. call it, Chris? I call it Badati Caesar. Shots. Shots. That's embarrassing. And so basically, it's like the Trojan horse of me becoming a Cherokee. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Tom, Tom. Never, never run for political office. Tom, you are stupid as shit. That's a, that's a fantastic thing to come back from. Tom, you are stupid as shit. God damn it, I love it so much. Let me change something real quick. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. All right, let's see. Oh, wasn't that drunk Tom? Yes, that was drunk Tom. Can can there be a distinction? Uh, I mean, maybe. Is drunk Tom dumb as shit? Is that what we're doing? Stupid as shit? Whatever he said? Yeah. <laughs> For 2024. All right, here we go. So I'm here in Seattle, and it's great to be back, wouldn't you all say? This is one of six hubs that are connected around the world. We have well, we're doing the of hub thousands thing. of people tuning in online. Uh, this is a globally distributed, digitally connected event, and we'll have millions of viewers that tune in over the time because all of our content will yes, be but not when you're drunk, so that we Tom. can learn together. Uh, we're really Although excited light nipples to have happens. you here. It's really great to be back in Seattle uh, and to be sharing for the with alert, you buddy. all of the innovation that we've been working on uh, to really help move society forward. Uh, and we're excited to be doing that with all of Ooh, you food, because that you make good. it happen uh, at the face of all of our customers and partners around the world. So thank you so much for the time you're spending with us here today. I want to frame our event and set a little bit of context for you all so that you understand how we've organized all of the content and organized all of the innovation. Suffice to say, we're living in some uncertain times, arguably some of the most uncertain times over the last several decades. Uh, and if you're like me, many of you are probably a little bit tired of living in unprecedented times and would like, sort of long for maybe something a little bit more normal. Um, but like, I'm here to say that technology uh, is the pathway forward through these uncertain times. Uh, because we've done a lot together as a society, we've navigated a lot during the pandemic, and if we've learned anything during the pandemic, it's that no business is 100% resilient. But businesses fortified with digital capability are, in fact, more resilient than others. And so okay. what we want to do during this event is challenge you to pivot from resiliency to perseverance. Resiliency, simply stated, is what you do when bad things happen to you. It's how you respond. It's how you react. And we've been helping our customers and our customers' customers and our partners uh, survive during the pandemic. Uh, and coming out of the pandemic, 
while we thought it might all be sunshine and rainbows, we've woken up to wars in the world, sustainability uh, challenges, we haven't come out of the pandemic yet, but okay. disruption in the economy, and it's time to pivot and use the same skills that we used during the pandemic to persevere from a forward-looking standpoint uh, as we face the world. Look, many of the same challenges exist still. We're still challenged by trying to thread mm, the needle my facts. productivity Whoa. and satisfaction. Sorry, and I didn't mean to. We have challenges in no. the supply chain. We have didn't challenges to disrupt the narrative or whatever the, the industry term is these days. Cybercrime. We're proud, though, to be able to offer the Microsoft Cloud as the most comprehensive and trusted cloud, and also the cloud that enables customers to do more with less. Because whilst all of those challenges still exist, the added challenge of having to solve those challenges and rise and meet Ooh. opportunity is met also with the need to do oh, so with take good luck, buddy. And good to spend luck. less to accomplish Fingers our crossed. goals. So that's exactly what our event is about today. We have five core themes that are going to be focused on enabling you if to you leverage If you take a shot every time they say Azure or Microsoft, Microsoft 365, you'll be drunk integrated to help solve these challenges. before the keynote starts. It begins with the notion of leveraging cloud scale economics, this notion of an economic and technology flywheel moving assets to the cloud, lowering the cost to serve the business, and helping to build out the data estate so that your organization can be data-driven. So our first theme is about that notion of becoming a data-driven enterprise. Data-driven is great to a point, but you can't just rely on data. data. You need people to, to analyze that AI data to make and take the human aspect efficient. into and account. We're going to talk a lot about that today. We're going to talk a lot about how to put data to work. Also, is data estate going to be a new buzzword that I have to memorize? Probably so, yes. Supply chain, Gross. help you yep. build products better, more effectively, and more efficiently, and more sustainably through the industrial metaverse. We're also going to talk a lot about democratizing. How do you leverage the He's power said metaverse. of metaverse? I told you it's going to happen today. Citizen devs to build cloud it's going to happen. Capabilities at scale like never before. So our third theme is all about empowering the developer. The fourth theme is about Just this don't notion put Zuck of on, please. the future of work. I mentioned oh, before God. that no CEO uh, Zuck's is not going to show up for a Microsoft event. From the considerations of trying to figure out Thank how God. to He'll send make a the workforce more, more productive, and every CEO at the same time wants to make sure that while they're driving productivity, they're also focused on employee well-being and satisfaction. So threading the needle on that, using technology, using Teams as a platform, and Viva Insights to really measure. Uh, I miss being at in-person well conferences. I don't even care. Sure everybody is like I know it's they can be in these still not necessarily times. safe. And finally, Love looking out in the crowd and seeing absolutely no masks. Times, it's the unfortunate rise of bad actors in the world. And so we need to rise together to build the right kind gift. of cyber foundation yeah. uh, to defend against bad actors and make sure business is secure. So our fifth theme is all about doing just that. So now, without further ado, I would like to turn things over to our Jason chairman Chris and taken seriously. Officer, okay. Satya Nadella, who will frame these five themes as digital imperatives. Thank you, and enjoy Ignite. Also, love that. That's a thing. Uh, can I, if you turn it on, you can actually get a separate feed with ASL, which is fantastic. Actually, I might just leave that feed on. What the hell? Why not? Hi, and welcome to Ignite. It's great to be with you all today. As Judson mentioned, we're going through a period of historic economic, societal, and technological change. But for all the uncertainty we continue to see in the world, one thing Wait, is clear. The on? Organizations oh, in every industry are turning to you and your go. digital capability to help them do more with less so that they can navigate this change and emerge stronger. You are the change agents who make doing more with less possible. Less time, less cost, less complexity, with more innovation, more agility, and more resilience. Doing more with less doesn't mean working harder or longer. It's not we going to scale. To be doing uh, it means resilience. applying technology we're to, doing to perseverance. amplify what you can do and ultimately it can be both. what an organization can achieve amidst today's constraints. We have to resiliently persevere. Over the past few years, We've Sorry, my buzzword soup is a little mixed up. It's fine. It's fine. It's more like a but stew today, at this point. We need to deliver on the digital <laughs> change agent sounds a lot cooler than it is. Yeah. Organization. And it all comes down to how we can help you do this with the Microsoft Cloud. No other cloud offers 
the best of category products. Technology is cool. I will make fun of buzzwords solutions. all day long. A hundred percent. That's what we will focus 100%. on at Ignite percent. this week. As my we my absolute least favorite, thought leadership. Let's dive right in. God, it I hate thought leadership. At the throw that one in the bin right next to PC load letter. you build agility <laughs> and optimize your business with Azure. Moving to the cloud is the best way to align your IT investments to scale with demand so that you can do more with less. We see this clearly in our data. Moving to Azure enables cost and operational efficiencies, and we want to help you leverage these savings to accelerate your own innovation. Azure is the only cloud that supports all organizations and all workloads from enterprises to startups to highly regulated industries. Azure is the world's computer. We have more than 60 data center regions connected by 175,000 miles of fiber, but it doesn't stop there. We want to help you deliver Azure does the power have a really of Azure comprehensive data anywhere. center network. That's where Azure Arc comes in. Azure Arc extends the Azure platform. They keep so this you shit up. The plan is going to be sentient and it's going to be an AI and we're all fucked. On-premise, edge, and multi-cloud yeah, environments. Pretty much. As Kubernetes adoption takes off, you can use still don't know how to, say Kubernetes. to run containerized applications still with can't AKS it on Azure Stack HCI, no Windows idea. Server, Windows Devices, Windows IoT, enabling a consistent experience across Azure on-premises and Edge. And we will enable AKS to run on even more platforms going forward. We also want to help you modernize your infrastructure. Yeah, Tay, we, from the I'm, up, taking a I really enjoy that we, approach, like at, at our credit compute. union, we are all our new Azure. Azure VMs with we are Azure Ultra everything, and I'm very, very happy the about that. clock speed of any ARM-based processor available in the cloud today and are more cost-effective and power-efficient Which just makes sense because we're doing compromising on performance. Off, we're doing like with new premium Microsoft SSD 365, storage, Teams, all that. We offer the most advanced general-purpose block storage solution available design for performance critical workloads like SAP and OLTP that consistently need sub millisecond latency combined with high IOPS and throughput. One of the Just things that I really appreciate about Satya is, is that he can talk to the business people, but he can also talk tech. Access. Satya worked for a very long time in the Windows the Server division as an engineer. So he knows what he's talking service. about from a technical it perspective. Massive scale and enables customers. Whereas to you had like Steve Ballmer, who knew some, but he was a business to the cloud guy. Without having to refactor you know. their application architectures. When we say the trusted computing platform for all organizations and all platforms, we mean it. Azure is the only cloud provider enabling highly regulated industries to bring their most sensitive applications to the cloud. Azure Confidential Computing can help you protect data while in use thanks to enclaves that protect and isolate code and data in a zero trust environment so that customers can prevent Oh, there's your there's Azure your buzzword. There's your the cloud provider from There's your infosec access. buzzword zero we trust. provide the broadest and deepest set mm. of virtual machines, containers and services powered by the latest confidential capable CPUs from Intel and AMD as well as confidential GPUs from Nvidia. And we continue to expand our Azure Confidential Computing portfolio with confidential VM node pools on AKS, enabling a seamless lift and shift of Linux container workloads and confidential VM options on both Azure Virtual Desktop and SQL on Azure VMs. I'm also excited to announce the preview of Azure Managed Confidential Welcome Consortium back. Framework. I'm just, I'm like, I'm always deploy, wildly manage, impressed by ASL translators. Applications. Wildly impressed. Capstone, the largest global funds network, for example, is using the open source framework to confidentially share trading data across the asset management industry on one common infrastructure and develop new digital investment models. We are seeing customers in every industry use confidential computing capabilities today, from F5 for mitigating oh, insider threat risk, HashiCorp F5. for managing customer keys, Signal Don't get me started for protecting on customer F5. contact details, RBC for correlating Signal. partner data with credit Arby's. transactions, See? Fireblocks yeah. for secure oh, blockchain-based no, asset and transaction cheddar. tracking, and the Australian startup, Carbon Asset Solutions, the Azure which is game using Azure yeah, right. Confidential Ledger so translator has a script available for these parts. Data they um, I think they do have giving buyers like confidence. a partial thing. Now let's turn to data. Because like Satya, like obviously Satya is not live. This is pre-recorded. We provide a complete data fabric from the operational stores to the analytics engines to data governance so that you can 
spend more time creating value and less time integrating and managing your data estate. Our goal is to provide you with the most comprehensive end-to-end -end data platform no, so no, you don't have to wrestle with the complexities <laughs> of building and operating cloud-scale data Some infrastructure Satya was a zombie, yourself. that'd be even more impressive, honestly. Analytics alone on our intelligent data platform costs up to 59% less than any other cloud analytics out there. And today we're going even further when it comes to our inside. operational databases. Azure Cosmos DB will now support distributed relational data with support for native PostgreSQL. This offers the best of both worlds, the scalability wow. and the high performance of a NoSQL, as well as the familiarity and the benefits of a relational database. Wow, okay, that's a big deal. With Azure Synapse, but is it free? Organizations can put their data I mean, it might be. much more quickly, productively, Otherwise, and securely I'm going to continue generating to insights my relational from across database. the hybrid <laughs> and multi-cloud data sources. <laughs> We offer out-of-the-box connectors for Azure SQL, Cosmos DB, and Dataverse. And we are working with our partners to deliver more link connectors for even more hybrid and multi-cloud data sources. And with Synapse Data Explorer, we offer a best-in-class solution for real-time analytics so that you can reason over your streaming data in near real-time. Finally, when it comes to governance, all of these operational and analytical capabilities I just talked about are fully integrated with Microsoft Purview. With Purview, organizations can scan, catalog, lineage, trace, and configure data management and access policies across the entire data estate. And we know this is a team sport. It, You'll hear more from the Rohan about how the free tier continues. It doesn't say our entire partner ecosystem whether to or not it's category leading solutions are deeply integrated. But I'm sure it does. I think it's about. all the same on the back end. Now let's talk about like our a, second a impact, delivering efficiency and automation and AI. When it comes to doing more with less, AI is the ultimate amplifier. It's going to change what an application looks like, what the design language of an application is, and how it gets built and how it gets delivered. I have certain philosophical. We are committed to making the promise of AI. AI is for you AI is and doing this. AI is marketing. Process. It's machine learning. We built the next generation supercomputers in Azure that are being used by us, OpenAI, as well as customers like Meta to train some of the largest, most mm. powerful AI models. Mm. Azure provides what? almost 2x higher compute throughput. Listen, I like my VR GPU headset, but the version, the mention of Meta makes me want to throw up a little bit. I know, buddy, but <laughs> what, what, what headset do you have? And for inferencing, Quest 2. Azure is more there you go. Made by. Like I, said, like I, said, to I like it. I know. I like it. In Azure, but we also offer damn. the best tools across the machine learning lifecycle from data preparation to model management. Yeah, I tell you that the scientists uh, and machine learning engineers yeah. can use Azure machine that happens, learning to build, it, buddy? train, deploy, Who's the competitor and operate. Large who can say go go? Who, who can say? Azure no, is no also one really knows. The best platform for PyTorch. At Ignite, we're excited to be launching the Azure container for PyTorch, bringing together the latest PyTorch version with the best optimization software for training and inferencing, all tested and optimized for Azure. I love that and it's the auto captions. You can tell because it's like Pi P I E Torch, like, like a flambe. Helps you evaluate the performance and fairness of your model. We ourselves, along the competitor cloud, someone so outside. Yeah, definitely not somebody in Microsoft's backyard. No. Nope. AI models. We're seeing exponential progress in their practical capabilities and are at a real inflection point. We have trained Turing for rich language understanding, Z code for translation across hundreds of languages, and Florence for breakthrough visual recognition. The other massive thing we have been doing is our work with OpenAI. We have trained the GPT family of models for human-like language generation, Dolly for realistic image generation and editing, and Codex for code generation in more than a dozen programming languages. I wonder languages. if Codex is what powers it's not to talk um, about these models. the it's all about GitHub predictive code and analysis. turning these breakthroughs into capabilities for you. Which is why I'm so excited to it's have a mystery. It the OpenAI always will seem CEO, Sam to be one too. here today. Uh, Hi, Sam. Hey, Sam. Mm. Thank you. You know, Sam, we've been working together now for. A well, you know year, what they say about those competitors, uh, go go. Fact, it's a jungle out there. Last time at Ignite is or when we first announced Azure OpenAI service right here, and 
the state-of-the-art models like GPD-3 and Codex coming together with the enterprise capabilities of Azure have been a real game changer. It's exciting to see so many customers from HSBC and PwC to Shell and Wipro are already applying these models in pretty advanced scenarios like content creation, code generation. Codex also powers like GitHub Copilot. Okay, that's what I thought. Scenarios that you've seen that is precisely what I thought. Yeah, thanks, mm -hmm. Satya. We're really excited about the wide range of uses that customers are finding for these AI systems. Of course, a lot of companies are using our completions endpoint to help create really compelling content from web copy to recruiting materials. And recently, we've seen more sophisticated applications that combine multiple AI capabilities for some really interesting- No, no, cases. links are good. You're good. For example, a number of Fortune 500 companies are now using a combination of our Longs embeddings and completions endpoint mm. together to drive But only if they're from Pennsylvania. That significantly improve current processes. Compliance teams can use these capabilities to search complicated external standards documentation and then compare them to their own internal policies. Okay, do you if think Home Slice gaps, practiced this in front of the mirror at home for a week language. before standing here this is in the front type of Satya? application that cuts time spent from manually comparing documents from many weeks down to hours. Customers are also using that idea? combination of embeddings and completions I mean, yeah. to help employees yeah, quickly absolutely. find and synthesize they got answers mic'd up. from across a massive internal knowledge base. For example, Morgan Stanley is building an AI assistant oh, no, absolutely. that helps their tens absolutely. of thousands it's of wealth like, managers better support yeah. their clients. The assistant combines search and content creation. If so I knew that hundreds of thousands of technology professionals were right going to be watching this video of me moment. at this it's moment, I'd have shit my pants too. Knowledge. No, that's so right. And the fact uh, that he Sammy, hasn't shit his pants, or at least that we haven't seen, is very search, impressive. Both being supported by AI is just yeah. fantastic. That's the secret, today, Captain. He's not wearing pants. He's just shitting all over the floor right now. <laughs> in the hands Christ. of customers. Uh, we're bringing the power of Dolly uh, to Azure Open AI service. And we want all our customers to be able to apply Dolly to any commercial use case, whether that's image I understood that reference. generation or content personalization and rapid response marketing campaigns. Uh, and in fact, we're already seeing some fantastic use cases. For example, RTL, the largest media company in Germany, will create personalized imagery for audiobook and podcast listeners as part of their subscription service. And Mattel has been exploring using the service to spark creativity across the entire organization from toy design <laughs> to marketing. And so with all that, Sam, what, what's there as next? Oh, God, our next, for our next Power AI Ranger Megazord is going to be AI generated. Yes. We, we take our role as it's gonna have, stewards. It's going to look like, like, like Trogdor. It's going to have one of those beefy so arms coming out of the back. To, collaborate with Microsoft sure. to set the standards for deployments and use of these powerful that AI systems. work because that'll just be one of those Megazords where one of the entire Zords will be the arm. Making sure our system yeah. is fucking thing. Yeah. As possible is learning from real world use. And so our approach is to iteratively deploy our technology as responsibly as we can, learn at each stage, and feed those learnings back into the system to make it safer. We're also working to make our AI systems smarter, more capable, and more useful. We recently open sourced our automatic speech recognition system, Whisper, which can transcribe complex speech more accurately than ever before, like complicated technical terms and accents. That's so cool, and I know you're also working on something else that's pretty exciting. You want to share that with yeah, us? Yeah, we're, we're so excited to show you how OpenAI is making our Codex models interactive, bringing them one step closer to becoming a real pair programmer. I'd love to show you a, a little bit of what we're working on. Our latest Codex prototype can explain and debug its own code, learn from mistakes, and make corrections on the fly. Recently, I saw just how powerful this tool could be in a programmer's workflow when I gave Codex a problem I saw discussed online. Let me show you. So first, we asked Codex to calculate the probability that in a single elimination tournament of eight players, the second best player finishes in second place. This is assuming that the better players always defeat the weaker players in each round. I'm going to ask Codex to solve the problem using a simulation, and we'll see it take my direction and turn it into code. To start, you can see that Codex suggests and then imports the random library to generate pseudo-random numbers. For its next steps, Codex explains its approach in natural language with detailed comments creating a list of skills of the eight players and outlining a tournament bracket. For each step, Codex generates and executes the code and then evaluates its results before moving forward. Now, Codex is writing the tournament's second and final rounds. Codex then checks if this result proves or disproves the initial problem. In this one random tournament, the player who lost in the final match was not the second most skilled player. To estimate the average probability after many games, Codex invokes its simulated tournament one million times in a loop. As Codex reasons through this problem, it's explaining each step in natural language. 
And here it looks like Codex has a slight bug. It's estimated the probability will come out to zero, very unlikely. Codex reviews its code at each step in all real time, so let's watch what Codex does here. The model correctly notices and identifies the issue. Now let's see how Codex manages to resolve it. This is absolutely just... Even though Codex identified the, the issue, it still didn't correctly fix it on the first try. With the new condition, <laughs> the probability is now calculated 100% Senior instead of zero. Senior developer promoted to wrong. AI code reviewer. So it tries again, and now it's going to get it right. Here we see the power of this new model. It evaluates its code, recognizes its own mistakes, and attempts to fix them. With only Execute the problem your code is vaguely scary. Codex independently solved Listen. the entire problem. <laughs> Computers execute my code every single day, and that terrifies the shit out of me. Bringing Codex <laughs> one step closer to becoming a real pair programmer. Thank you so much, Sam. It's such a real pleasure to be working with you and your team. I'm really excited about the work we're doing together and all the advances to come. Thank you, Satya. Thank you. That was just an awesome demo. We're bringing all these advances to our first party Microsoft services too, including Microsoft Designer, the new graphics design app we announced this morning. We fundamentally believe that AI will not only amplify our auto debugging system, do, but also no, 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 Tay. This isn't debugging code. It Designer wrote the code, debugged it, modified it, AI debugged it again, and Dolly fixed it. It creates new designs. It did it all on its own. Before, all the all the home yours. slice did was Consider provide the prompt. This could be for a small business, for example, which wants to create images and said, "Hey, and run the simulation," posts, and it did it. Graphics and much more. We can start by typing just a few words. With just that, Designer immediately generates templates for you based on what's what rubber you ducking. Like, you can get custom I'm not images sure what based rubber on your ideas. Is. And there's no need to spend idea. time creating a new design on your own or searching through thousands like, of pre-made templates. Like this shit is As you tell Designer the start what you like, of like the when someone walked into the holodeck. It's like, I want to start a new program. A ready to go, and you can and they just talk to the, the computer, and the computer does like. all the shit, it's and then they're fantastic. just like, okay, yeah, this is what We're I wanted. Or no, they didn't. This is what I want, then. Yeah, this is this is how the hollow deck starts. <laughs> also to our uh, new hello, computer. A mouse, how quaint. Just don't turn off the safeties. That's true. Programs demanding citizenship. That, I mean, a world listen, eventually it's going to happen. No matter their profession, can have an experience like this for everything. Hair, P-E-A-R programming just sounds like writing code while you have a de nice, delicious slice of a fruit calls, tart. And automatically identify highlights and critical follow-ups to ensure better customer service. And Dynamics 365 is using the same oh, capabilities to help sellers identify oh. new opportunities. God damn it. I wish they made Dynamics for small deals. businesses. We're also applying these models to transform how people build software which brings us to the third imperative innovating with the most comprehensive cloud developer platform with github copilot we are applying codex to suggest code and entire functions in real time right from your editor turning natural language prompts into coding suggestions it draws context from the code you're working on to finish the lines you start and even suggest entire functions we'll also be rapidly adding some of the functionality sam showed to copilot just like the rise of fucking compilers and interpreters, we believe AI-assisted coding per will user fundamentally per change the nature of software development, mm. giving developers a new tool to write better code easier. No, Tay, what happened with that? And for users of Copilot, it's <laughs> already going to do something else for a minute. Yeah. Code and developers are able to code more than 50% faster. They tell us they feel more fulfilled Business, and less wait, frustrated when coding and are ultimately able to do more with less. And we're not stopping there. We are experimenting with new functionality through GitHub Copilot Labs, like Explain Code, which lets you highlight a block of code and see what it does in plain English. And Translate Code, which lets you select a language and translate the code into it. We'll be sharing a lot more about our plans with GitHub Copilot okay, at the GitHub Universe make a small next business month. Version now. When we I think stand, about the future of building corrected. software, it's clear innovation in building great application hmm. experiences <clears throat> is everybody's job in the open. Hey, I see a, a hollow lens or something in the background there. Seventy percent of new applications there. will use low code and no code by 2025, up from 25% in 2020. And we are turning low code into no code with the power of AI. We are bringing the same principles and capabilities. Is that the power platform, power platform logo now? With Express Design and Power Apps, you can upload. I like the little wavy P. That's pretty it cool. Into a working app within seconds. It's also, easy. shout out to my buddies uh, Greg and Tasha who work on power platform power stuff. Will generate a list of most relevant PowerFX formulas for you to choose from. The code essentially writes itself. 
That's PP. And we are going even further, bringing Stop AI-powered that. co-pilot capabilities to power automate. You can describe what you want to automate, and it'll generate. Did you see it was a red swing line stapler? Your flow creation. And all oh, that's no. left for you to do is simply <laughs> set up the connectors and finalize the flow design. Okay, but that's it's the last It's never draw. been easier for you to build advanced workflows and automation. The bottom line is it just can't be about data scientists or professional developers in your organization who are building these new capabilities for you. It's about empowering everyone. Think about your domain experts, your developers. For AI to deliver business value, they can't be disconnected. That's why I'm so energized by AI Builder, which makes it simple to add intelligence to applications and workflows you build. You can use pre-built models for common business scenarios like sentiment analysis or invoice processing or deploy custom models. Today, we're introducing the new AI Builder capabilities, including the feedback loop, which retrains models to continuously improve their performance and accuracy. One of the most common use cases we see for AI is surfacing the right content at the right time. How do you take the massive amount of content in any organization, proposals, contracts, presentations, designs, invoices, legal documents, and use AI to bring it into the flow of work? Is it weird that I like the exposed process. like wiring Today, harnesses hanging from the Microsoft ceiling Syntax, as an aesthetic? Which uses our AI builder and power automation. I just I really like that. I don't know why. Read, tag, and Listen, index high volumes of content exposed and surface it where it's framework needed. stuff Syntax like that. AI yeah, fantastic when it's translation cable and Assembly yes, and it really does. Features. It really and does. It's, when, of course, when it's cable managed, Microsoft otherwise, please hide teams. it. Take a series of yeah. PDFs or Word documents in a foreign language, for example, and Syntax will translate them Basically, instantly. Four, 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 Open the translated document and Syntax can summarize it, providing highlights and links to the most important information. It's pretty fantastic. Now let's turn and to no our next start. All game is still running, but no visual zombies. What? Workforce. We are experiencing a once-in-a-lifetime change in work patterns. We're not going back to 2019. We need to accept and find a new path forward. And we need to directly address the lessons Amen. we've learned over the past couple of years. Thank you. Our latest Work Trends Index identifies three clear priorities for every organization. We need to stop the endless productivity paranoia. People are working more than ever, but leaders still worry employees are not getting the job done. We need to embrace data over dogma and realign organizations around the most important work. We need to embrace that people come to the office for each other, not policy. And as leaders, we need to re-recruit our employees. Re-recruiting doesn't end when the job offer is accepted. Leaders must continuously help their employees learn new skills or risk losing them. Employees must be empowered and energized to do meaningful work so that they can thrive. To do so, organizations require a new system to build human, social, and knowledge capital across the entire organization. You need to help people feel aligned to the company's mission, purpose, and business priorities. You need to help them connect with each other where they are and wherever they are working. You need to help them continuously build new skills in the flow of work. And you need to have all these things working in harmony to have a workforce that thrives. That's what Microsoft 365, Microsoft Teams, and Microsoft Viva enable. With Microsoft 365, we provide a talk about Viva or Yammer. experience that makes work better for today's digitally connected mm, and distributed workforce. Yamper, very, can save very, more very than good 60% boy. 60% compared to a patchwork of solutions. Microsoft 365 includes Teams plus the apps you always relied on, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook as well as new applications for creation and expression like Loop, ClipChamp, Stream, Designer. Mm, and it's all Clip built Champ. on the Microsoft mm. Graph, which makes available to you the information about people, Not their fan. relationships, just the way they're the handling it. Facts, meetings, they're just, events, mm. documents in one interconnected system. Thanks to the they graph, still, you they can still got an iteration or two to go before they get that right as far as the pricing model. Workforce is working. This is so critical. It all comes mm, alive. Same. In the new Microsoft below. 365 application, it provides personalized recommendations powered uh, by crawling graph, across the ceiling, which was not a movement originally programmed in the game. The AI stayed inside its design well box with totally unexpected things. You choose to add. Holy it's shit, that's wild, but also amazing. Work today. Now let's talk about Microsoft Teams. Teams. Work doesn't happen in vacuum. You need. I don't care. Fuck you. I like Teams. Sync, async, in person, as well as remote collaboration. In a previous era, you could get away with one or two of these quadrants, but now 
you need all four quadrants to be excellent at any given time for work to get done and collaboration to happen. Teams supports all the ways people work today. It has become essential to how hundreds of millions of people Which meet, call, chat, that, yeah. collaborate, yeah, no, and do I, business. I get you, We've introduced more than 450 capabilities over the past year, and we are announcing new Teams features today at Ignite to help you not only have better meetings, but also to change the meeting culture. This includes Teams Premium, which delivers advanced meeting protection so you never have to worry that your most sensitive conversations might be shared. Oh, and also Intelligent okay, that's, that's Recap, cool. which uses AI to assign tasks during meetings and call out important moments in the recording. Forget about having to attend every single meeting ever again. The killer app, of course, for Teams oh, is God. the Teams app platform and how it has become the organizing layer for all applications you can use to run your business. Imagine having your Just organization like let you use apps inside of Teams. Completely transformed how people Imagine. consume software. We are seeing collaborative and applications Toso. in Teams transform how people work together. Imagine collaborative apps your company letting you use a apps. paradigm shift yeah, on right. how apps are built. Instead of the apps being the focal point where users go, collaborative apps bring business workflows, data, and insights to where users are. More than 1,600 third-party applications are available on Teams App Store today, and more than 100,000 companies have deployed their own custom line of business applications in Teams. We are seeing leaders from every industry, from Canva to ServiceNow, build apps that deeply integrate Teams and Microsoft 365 so much across stuff their that workflows. You can integrate into 3M teams now. has built a posted app on Teams to support all the ways people brainstorm and collaborate, including taking notes on Post-its. Handwritten Post-it notes are seamlessly transformed into a digital whiteboard by simply taking a picture. All right, Using that's the fucking graph, cool. The app assigns tasks, surfaces, that's relevant that's how you use technology. Groups, content, Can you integrate I am into Teams? <laughs> All within the <laughs> let's, let's, meeting experience. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. SAP is building a Teams app so you can access and update real-time <sighs> data from SAP S4 HANA Cloud. Tay, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Teams it's good chat. to see you. And because the experience is built using adaptive card-based loop components, the data can be shared in Outlook and stays in sync across SAP, Teams, and Outlook, making it easy for employees to always have access to the latest information wherever they prefer to work. Adaptive card based loop components will be generally available. I do next like the year. like the card Power platform the adaptive teams card also make it kind of platform for thing that they deploy collaborative they've gone in on. That's American really nice. Airlines, it's a great example, way to present and work with to data. A collaborative application that brings together ground crews with its flight crews in order to speed the turnaround times and its gates. Let's roll the video. We are American Airlines and we are the This sounds like airline. this sounds like the fucking day, just in DFW. We have about 700 to 900 Like this sounds like a video off. you would watch on a plane so as you're taking off. Attendants, pilots or behind the scenes crew. All of them play a key part in getting you to the right destination on time. Collaboration and communication like just... in a timely manner is very very key. It's like orchestrating like That's what it feels like right now. Only more difficult. What we built previously was an application that bridged the, the gap screen. between the various work groups yeah. around the airports. That's yeah. That's I, I saw that. The that was really cool. The key thing that we're looking for is it and then to be faster, seamlessly changing over. Connect Me the is translator. a hybrid microservice tool layered over Teams and the Power Platform. With the new Teams platform, it's actually gotten... And even have an AI takeover, bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. Before the flight departs, we create a flight channel. And we auto subscribe everybody who is responsible to get that flight turn around on time. There is no end to the type of information that can be passed on. Let's say you're the customer who has a tight connection. A gate agent could send a message through Connect Me Teams to say that, hey, this is a tight connection and you need to prioritize these bags or your bags. We needed a platform that fit into the digital transformation journey that we are embarking on. Teams and Power Apps were perfect for that. We care for our customer's journey, and time is of the essence. A company like Remember, American, in the event of a rampant of AI, destroy your own devices online. before attempting to destroy the devices of others. I just love how American Airlines has used Teams as a platform to connect thousands of its employees to do more with less. When it comes to new collaboration patterns, our approach extends 
to where people work so you can unlock productivity wherever you are. With Teams Rooms, you're bringing Teams to a growing ecosystem yeah, of devices Yeah, your bags over everyone else's all the time. Is that too much to ask? I mean, honestly, honestly, same. Anywhere. And I'm very excited to announce that Cisco will become a Microsoft Teams Room certified device partner and runs Teams Rooms on Android natively. Yeah, Cisco system. Cisco hardware is going to be team certified and running Teams on it, and which makes me wonder what they're going to do with some of their other space conferencing software that they that they make and own. Together the digital and physical worlds. We're taking an approach to ensure that all like, our software can benefit users on all their favorite devices. Just yesterday, that, uh, we announced that with Meta that we're well for things teams like, uh, you know, WebEx. Quest, so you can connect, share, and collaborate in VR as though you're Why together use WebEx? in person. Oh, there it is. And today, I'm <laughs> thrilled to announce the private preview of mesh avatars in Microsoft Teams globally. I knew this was Customers coming today. Customers will be able to build their avatars in a way that reflects their identity and can represent them in meetings, giving them the flexibility and choice to be present without ever having to turn on a camera. These same paradigm shifts, the digitization of people, places, and processes are happening in the industrial metaverse. WebEx is our X we'll platform. We'll hear from Johnson later today about how many of our customers, including Mercedes-Benz, Coca-Cola, Hellenic, Equinor, are using our tools to automate, simulate, and predict any business function or process. And we're not stopping there. We want to help you evolve and manage your space for both hybrid and in-person work. The hybrid workplace today is often too ad hoc. Leaders are being asked to rethink their real estate portfolio with very limited data, and employees are being asked to go into the office with very limited understanding of why they should come in in the first place. Thank you. That's why we're introducing a new connected workplace category and announcing Microsoft Places. We want to help you turn your space into a place. Cisco Teams was trash. People I used it, it for like a year and a half. The importance of Absolutely the terrible. Orchestrating when Hated it. People meet and collaborate. Places will do the same for where. You don't just say show up for a meeting. You show up for purpose and Cisco connection. Cisco had their own Teams so thing a new that was to terrible. A place, including tools but to yes, I saw that it was using Teams on Android, in, which are best it makes to be in sense because and reserve the right those Cisco devices, I'm sure, are Android-based. But Cisco had their own Teams thing. Oh, I could have take oh, a look. so bad. New ways of work hold so much promise, while also creating new challenges. But change brings opportunity. And Microsoft can help. Coordinate where work happens to prioritize your time and maximize in-person connections. Reshape the office experience with intelligent technology. And optimize the places you work. That was cool. Dynamic that was cool as fuck. Introducing Microsoft Places. Transform your space into a place in the office at home. Microsoft is doing like a massive between. rebuild of their campus. How the fuck do we make this work? Microsoft Places Until... will be available next year. I don't think you're ready for let's it. Let's talk go, about go. Microsoft Viva. When work is increasingly happening anywhere, anytime, the employee experience needs to adapt accordingly. Mm. Microsoft Viva is the first employee experience platform for hybrid work. It I brings have insights, thoughts, connections, team on Microsoft purpose, Viva. and growth into the flow of work to empower it employees like it's built on the IoT and teams digital twins to do their very best. It very well could Viva be. Viva provides one it system very well could be. for leaders and employees to receive actionable insights and feedback, connect the entire company from the front line to the CEO, align an organization's goals, and learn new skills so that they can collect and maybe it's Maybe it's just very big outcomes. brother of me, but Viva just, just seems like, we announced the availability hey, we're, uh, new capabilities that we're bring business you know, goals seeing what you're doing and how productive work, you are making it easier to share okrs and track progress across the organization think about how not, powerful that is you mean you when don't want the organization to be a hover dead mm. across the organization everyone gets aligned mm. we were helps every mm. employee excel mm. and we are also extending we were with tailored solutions to meet role specific needs that every job function needs. For example, Weaver Sales, the new which platform became generally for casino available, monitoring, street, provides right? sellers with unified view of their activities, bringing real time CRM data directly into their customer interactions across Teams and Outlook. And we'll have more role specific solutions coming in the near future. Just like we're building Teams and Weaver and Places for this new era of work, there are two other platforms that I want to talk about. 
Edge and Windows. With Edge, our mission is to build the most secure and productive browser. Edge, no questions asked, is the best browser for business. Edge makes it easier to protect your organization's data as well as your you privacy. You can't manage any other browser Edge like you can manage Edge. Edge rated protection against Hands phishing down. and malware on Windows. From and a business perspective, you cannot like manage it. Protection. I'm also very excited to introduce Edge Workspaces, a complete new experience which enables everyone working on a project to see the same set of websites, web apps, and files in one place so that they can stay on the same page. It's about making web browsing multiplayer. Instead of sending links over email or chat, you can open an Edge workspace and access a shared set of tabs. When it comes to Windows, That's nice. we're games fundamentally can we play like redesigning that? <laughs> the operating system from the client to the cloud for hybrid work. Windows 11 is designed for the future of work today. And from new PCs we announced just this morning to it's the like expansion Chrome, but of not our evil. offering I mean... from Windows 365 to Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows continues to evolve to work the way you do. It starts by making you more secure with new cloud-powered features. Enhanced phishing protection helps you better understand I mean, whether something is malicious. Chrome's not entirely or evil yet. They're not the blocking the extension API for ad blockers yet. Helps make your That's still soon, less TM. To <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. Uh, and with Windows 365, mm, you're transforming how you experience yet. Windows by bringing together the power of Windows computers. With no, Azure it's computers. coming, and it's a bad idea. Windows 365 is a it's been coming for a few years SaaS now, but yes, it is still a ter absolutely terrible idea. What but it's secure, more secure for extensions. Directly mm, from Windows no, 11 taskbar so. or start menu. Yeah, and we're also announcing the revenue. availability of Windows 365 government and an enterprise multi-user plan designed for frontline and shift workers. Panos will share more tomorrow. Windows 365 app. That sounds like a replacement for Citrix right there. Like that's the benefit. that's the full Citrix now replacement. Let's turn to our final that's it. Security. It's almost As like Chrome is made by an advertising company. What? Every organization. No. Protecting is complex and can get expensive. Every organization experiences this with so many different devices, connections to partners, and an ever shifting cloud resource deployment. The more agile you become, the more that's the thing that kills me. People are like, Google's such a, risk. they're such and an the amazing tech company. It's like they're not a fucking tech company, they're an ad company. They just build tech to serve ads. To that's target. it. That's what they do. For okay. far too long, customers have been forced to adopt. <laughs> no, no, do not apologize. <laughs> from disparate sources <laughs> that don't integrate well and leave gaps. We offer Listen, a better option. I, for one, welcome my Google Overlords. I know you do, buddy. But at least I know what they're it. I know what they're about. It starts. Listen, at least you're not trying to pretend that they're, you know, not what they are. For identity and access. You know what you're getting yourself into. Purview, which I mentioned earlier is the future of compliance and data governance as well as microsoft my biggest Fever issue is that if they're going to they're going to spy on me all the time they can at least get my fucking voice recognition right most of the time and of course, oh jesus christ and sentinel you get a comprehensive solution defender is so good like the defender platform has come so far in the last 10 years speed. on average well, amazon and walmart aren't retailers are logistic companies that happen to sell stuff yeah compared to a multi vendor oh, yeah. solution our approach extends like the way that that Walmart handles their logistics for moving stock around. To Today we introduced new Just innovations in Defender for Cloud, blowing. including enhanced security posture management that will help you focus on the most critical risks and provide built-in multi-cloud security recommendations. The new Defender for DevOps helps you secure the entire development lifecycle and unify DevOps security management across multiple environments. We should be using that. We're also adding automatic attack disruption to Defender to limit lateral movement and help you stop ransomware before it gets a chance to encrypt your data. And we're adding new identity governance capabilities to Entra, providing even Amazon's greater web control over company that digital identities logistics across supports retail. The cloud so that only the right people are granted the right access to the right resources at the right time, which is so critical in a world where everything is just one login away. I'll end where I started. These are the digital imperatives for every organization. And what I've shared with you is just a snapshot of what you'll see this week at Ignite. So this is basically what I figured Ignite was going to be about. The Microsoft Cloud in order to help you do more but they didn't talk as much about These Metaverse in the keynote blocks. that I thought they would, which is... Ultimately, it all comes down I'm glad they're not to like the outcomes you drive with these platforms and the tools shoving it down and our how throats. you're able to transform your company, your industry, and the world. Nonprofits are a great example of the possibilities. 
They are on the front lines of so many of our world's most pressing challenges, and they epitomize what it means to do more with less. We are committed to doing our part to ensure technology can help them help the world. And over the next five years, we will double the number of nonprofits we reach worldwide with technology discounts and grants to help amplify their impact. So let's take a look and thank you all so very much. Enjoy the rest of Ignite. The problem is unbelievably big. There's a crisis. Forests provide clean air, clean water. There is so much at stake. I don't like to lose a runway. That's my target. If you touch runway, touch me. I wanted to train women in basic computer skills. Now here comes people who train me on how to do it, and they will give me opportunity to train others. It was like a dream come true. We're now at the forefront of the second Rhino Award. Rangers want to save Rhino. They don't want to be technicians. It's where we started looking at Azure and the cloud. Because of fundraising and engagement built on Microsoft solutions, Right to Play is going to be able to expand the impact of our programs and impact the lives of many more of the world's most vulnerable children. I was asking for some type of hope. Did you're not in it alone? And Team Rubicon gave me that hope. They said, we're not going to leave you like this. Y'all were able to save my home. Thank you. I used to work for a nonprofit that received um, technology grants from Microsoft. Actually, one of the uh, so former board members were, had worked at Microsoft. It's only limited by our imagination. All right. I think the, that's I think that's gonna do it for the Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the uh, keynote there. Alright, um I think that's about it for me. So yeah, we had uh kind of what I expected from the Ignite keynote. Um a lot of talk about 365 Azure Cloud stuff. Um, a lot of ramp up with AI machine learning and their offerings there. Um, the live codex coding thing was, well, that was, that was something. It was, it sure was something. Um, I too look forward to my job being replaced by a robot. Yeah, it'll be fine. It was an R code. The, you're you're assuming that they will write shit code, they like we do, which you know won't they happen. will. I look forward to my new job of code reviewing their code. Oh, that's fair. Um, all right, let's get out of here. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, let's see. Get yeah, lunch. I'm I'm gonna get some lunch, and then tonight I'm gonna be finishing the Wind Waker. Um, so we still have four more Triforce shards to get. And then uh, i got to head back down underwater to take care of the last bit of stuff. So um, that'll be tonight. Friday, I'm playing Tetris Effect Connected, thanks to this guy. Uh, and then Sunday, I start Ocarina of Time. Um, all right, so I will see you all uh, tonight. I will see you in about six and a half hours from now. Uh, let's see, who are we going to go? Who are we going to go bother? Who's doing stuff and things? Xbox channel. Lemon's doing her thing. It is Wednesday. Let's see. Nine's going. Nine's going. Tab's going. Tab's playing RimWorld. Let's see what... Yeah, she's playing... Uh. Oh, there. She has sharks. Sure, let's, let's just... Let's go do that. All right. Um, all right, go be nice to Tab. She's a good friend of mine. Um, thank you all again for hanging out. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I will see you later tonight for the end of Wind Waker and then Friday for Tetris Effect Connected. Um, all right, see you in a little bit. Bye.